Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me for story time today. It's Miss Kim from Midpoint Library. Today all of our stories are going to be about cats. There are lots of different kinds of cats. Um, we are going to share a story and we're going to talk about the different kinds of cats. Let's get started with that first book. Alright, this first book is called I Am A Cat by Galia Bernstein. So you will notice on the cover of this book, lots of different kinds of cats. So we have our house cat, but do you see different kinds of cats behind him? Like here looks like a big cat, and here, and here. So I think this book is gonna be about lots of different kinds of cats, and they each think they are each the only cat. Let's get started. Hello, my name is Simon. I am a cat, just like you. Ha 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 A cat, said Lion. Don't be silly, dear boy. You can't be a cat because I am a cat and you are nothing like me at all. Cats have a mane and a tuft at the end of their tails and when they roar, Everybody trembles, for they are the king of all beasts. A cat, said Cheetah, but you're so short and chubby. Cats are tall and graceful creatures who run faster than all the animals in the world. You don't look like you can run very fast at all. A cat, said Puma, that's ridiculous. Cats live in the mountains. That's why people call us mountain lions. They leap far, jump high, and act tough. I know fuzzy little rabbits that look tougher than you. <sighs> a cat, cats are black, said Panther. They live in jungles and rainforest and sleep in trees. Have you ever even seen a jungle? A cat, said Tiger, that's very funny. You see, cats are very big and very strong and very, very orange. You are small and gray. You might be some kind of rat, but a cat? I don't think so. Simon was confused. Lion is the only one with a mane, he said. No one else is as black as panther or orange like tiger. No one else can jump as high as puma or can run as fast as Cheetah. So how can you all be cats? Because we also have many things in common, said Lion. We all have small perky ears and flat noses, long whiskers and long tails. We have sharp teeth and claws and big eyes that can see in the dark. So do I, said Simon. I have all of those things, only smaller. They all leaned in for a closer look. Ah, said Lion. Oh, said Puma. Um, in that case, said Panther, uh, it's very possible, said Tiger. You're a cat, said Cheetah. So, I'm part of the family, asked Simon. The big cats looked at one another. Yes, they all said together. And they spent the rest of the day pouncing and prowling, prancing and playing, like cats of all sizes do. So he is part of the family. He's a cat too. That was a really cute story. Do you know what time it is? It is time to take five with Shakespeare. All right, it is time to take five with Shakespeare. We are gonna do a true or false. So if it's true, give me a thumbs up. If it's false, give me a thumbs down. All of our questions are going to be about cats. Number one, 
Cats use their ears to help them balance. True or false? That's false. Cats use their tails to help them balance. So look how very balanced he is walking across there. And notice his tail. He uses that tail to keep himself balanced. Number two, cats use their whiskers to decide if they can fit in a small space. True or false? That's true. A cat's whiskers are approximately the same width as their body. So if his whiskers can fit in, so can he. Number three, cats sweat just like us humans. True or false? That is false. Cats sweat through their paws. Number four. Cats are very good at jumping. True or false? True. A healthy cat can jump up to six times their body length. They can jump a really, really long way. Number five, last one. Cats sleep 15 to 20 hours a day. True or false? That's true. Cats sleep to reserve energy for running, pouncing, and climbing. They also like to stay a little active at night too, so that's why they sleep so much during the day. You guys did a really good job with those questions. All right, let's get started on our second book. Okay, this book is called Cat Wishes, words by Callista Brill. So Cat's gonna make some wishes. Let's see if they all come true. Once in the windy wood, there was a hungry cat. A mouse, a mole, a bat, the cat said. I wish I had something to eat. And then he heard a rustle. With a crouch and a coil and then a pounce, cat caught a wiggly snake. Spare my life, the snake told cat. I'll grant you what you wish. No such thing as a wish, cat said, and his whiskers danced. Sure of that, are you? said the snake. Cat flicked his ears. Maybe I'm not so hungry after all. And he lifted his paw. Three wishes for you, said snake. He wiggled off through the grass. No such thing as a wish, cat said. His belly growled. But if there were, I'd wish for a fish. He wished for a fish. Cat, pat, pat. Cat walked and on whispered feet. Pad, pad, pad. Splash! Cat stared with wide cat eyes. No such thing as a wish, Cat said. Burp. Wait a minute. I see one, two, three, four, five. It looks like he caught some fish. Cat circled and circled and circled once more. It was time to nap in the sun. But the breezy air turned cold and damp and rain began to fall. No such thing as a wish, Cat said. His tail lashed. But if there were, I'd wish for a house. Plop, plop, plop. The rain spotted Cat's fur. Plop, plop, plop. Cat's nose tickled and twitched. Cat smelled a roasty, toasty, fireplace. 
cat saw a winking light. Cat walked in into his very own house and curled up on a cushion. No such thing as a wish, Cat said. I don't know. Cat woke up in the night surrounded by shadows. No such thing as a wish, Cat said. But if there were, I'd wish for a friend. Came a footstep. Cat's tail bristled. Hello? A very small girl stood at the door. A wiggly snake in the windy woods granted me three wishes, the small girl said. First I was hungry. Cat saw her picnic basket. And then it was raining. Cat saw her red raincoat. And then I was lonely. Cat climbed into her arms and purred. I think Cat and the little girl got their wishes, don't you? That was a really good story. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed story time today. Stay safe, have fun, and keep reading. Goodbye. <laughs>